My name's Fred Kasparic. I uh, had one of the first uh, VX1s in Australia. Uh, one of the things that attracted me to the, the boat was the design of the running gear and the control lines. It was obvious to me that Brian Bennett had put a lot of thought into it and had learned a lot from his previous design, the, uh, a very popular class back in America. Um, th it made sailing and rigging very simple. So the purpose of this uh, video is just to go through some of these features that aren't necessarily obvious on the specifications. The VX1 comes with a jib furler. You can see it furled here. So you uncleave here, and then all you need to do is pull the jib out. So that here you can see the, the jib's out. Um, and then you just matter of filling it up, which I thought was particularly good because in, in a situation before a start or in a situation where we're, we needed to stop for a minute and be in control, we could fill the jib and slow the boat down. The jib sheeting and traveler system, the boat comes with a self-tacking jib. So if we look at, I'll just unfurl it again. You can see here, the boat comes with a self-tacking jib. Um, if I pull the jib sheets on the top here, if I pull on the jib sheet here, you can see it's, uh, and you've got the cleat there. Underneath the cleat, you've actually got the traveler, which controls the, how far the jib uh, traveler car goes in and out. And you can control that under tension while sailing very neat because once you set it you can go through tacks and freeze up the uh, crew. The VX1 comes with a really good raising and lowering spinnaker system. It allows for a person of small to medium size to be able to, to raise and retrieve the spinnaker. It starts off with this block here so that if you want to raise the kite you will uh, pull behind the, the halyard, behind the block, and you start pulling. You can see over here, it self cleats as you're pulling up, and you just lift it up till you, it stops, and it's in position. It, at the same time, pulls out the spinnaker pole as well. On the retrieval, you will then grab it in front of the block, and you uncleat at the, automatically, and you start pulling uh, the, the retrieval line back in. It collapses the kite, and sucks it into the spinnaker chute while at the same time pulling the, the spinnaker pole in. A good friend of mine, Yorkie, he's, he's gone out by himself, one up in a 20 knot day, and he could do this by himself, which is a bit of a feat, I must say. If we move forward, you'll see one of the fine details of it is you have a polished stainless steel bar across the chute. This prevents from the front of the chute being worn with a retrieval line. So the method of raising and lowering the curl is very simple. There's a block and tackle system with a cleat on it. So you to lower it, you just uh, uncleat and just work the, the curl down. It just lowers. You'll also note, before I put it down, is there's the sacrificial plugs in there. So if anything goes wrong or wears out, that's easily removed and placed back in into the case. I'll just keep lowering the curl. And I'll just work it down slowly, gently, into position. So, there we, there we go. And we use these small bolts. And we do them initially with fingers. And then the back one. and then we tighten off with an Allen key. Okay, tighten off. We tighten that. Then we take the block and tackle off there. And you'll notice the retaining lines on a shock cord and it goes back into position. To, to raise the keel, you just do exactly, but in an opposite manner. And we put the block and tackle in the bag here.
Probably the favourite feature of the VX1 for me is the, the clean deck line and the room you have. And that's attributed to one major thing, and I think that's a nav, which is a vang uh, spelt backwards. So the nav is above the boom and it's adjusted uh, at the deck line here for like two cleats. So either the crew or the skipper can do it from the edge of the boat, from the gunnel. You also have off the boom sheeting. And that goes to a bridle at the back, so there's no travellers. So you can shoot through here and you play it like a skip, upwind or downwind. Very exciting, you can see the, the curl that's in position and you, you can see the final layout. So there's nothing to really to knock your feet on. You've got a central rib down the centre, so if you're healing a little bit, you can push yourself out on the edge. You don't necessarily slide to lure. The clue out hall is underneath the boom here. So you cleat, uncleat, very simple. You can see the purchase to the, for the nav that goes inside. And as I said, goes out to the edges of the boat. The luff tension for the jib is located here. So you can pull on and off. There's different varieties of blocks and, and cleats for this that uh, different boats come with, but uh, fundamentally it's the same purchase system down here. This is, of, of course, as previously mentioned, the jib and the jib sheeting and jib traveller here. And then we have the downhaul. So you have a downhaul system that you can sort of uh, swivel and rotate and adjust from within the boat. This is the cleat for the spinnaker halyard, the spinnaker block, and so on. And this is a spinnaker chute. Um, and you got these hiking straps, um, and that's pretty much it. The rudder system, again, making it a very clean, open deck boat. I'm six foot two, and I find this probably easily my favourite boat to have sailed of any boat I've had over the last 35 years.